Hi folks! Yes, today we are here at Tumala and today join me and my family as we do a day trip camping at this wonderful destination. Traveling to Tumala Beach from Johor Bahru via the Tobrau Highway and then to Kuda Tinggi Road typically takes about 90 minutes depending on the road condition. As this is our second visit to this destination, we are somewhat familiar with the route and what to expect along the way. We woke up early in the morning, ready for a road trip where the kids could enjoy spotting monkeys along the roadside. Remember to drive carefully and if you plan to make a stop, ensure that your car's windows and doors remain closed at all times for safety. As we continued our journey, we eventually found ourselves on a small cemented road. And don't worry, it's still manageable. However, as you near to the public beach, be prepared for a rough road stretch of less than 1 km leading straight down to the beachfront. Upon arrival to the beachfront, we wasted no time in setting up our tent. Taking advantage of the early morning hour before the sun had fully risen, our luck seemed to be on favor as we stumbled upon a perfect spot nestled beneath a towering trees adorned with lush foliage. The abundance of the leaves provided a welcome canopy of shades offering respite from the burgeoning daylight. It took us approximately 20 minutes to set up our tent right in front of the beach. Setting up, it was just breeze thanks to a easy to assemble design of the tent that we had just purchased and we felt fortunate that the weather was calm and devoid of strong winds unlike our camping experience in Pungarang last year. Right after setting up the tent, my kids eagerly started playing in the sand while my wife began preparing some dishes for our late breakfast. The setup of our camp this time around was simple, yet I must say it felt really nice. The kids quickly dug into their macaroni salads while my wife got busy frying fish for everyone. By the way, during our visit, we noticed that we were the only one camping in that area. When the tide was low, it was really nice to watch the waves gently splashing onto the shore one after the other. I just love how quiet and peaceful it was during our time here. We really enjoyed it. After the kids finished their breakfast, we decided to explore the rocky area of this public beach. I wanted to remind everyone to wear slippers or beach shoes when entering this area because the rocks are really sharp and could potentially cut your feet as you walk through. It's important to take care of our safety while enjoying the beach at this destination. The view from the rocky area to our camping was truly breathtaking. It was evident that we were the only one enjoying a day trip camping at this public beach. Since my daughter was eager to explore, I allowed her to venture out a bit but I made sure she didn't go too close to the rocky terrain. With the sun already blazing, I had to bring our giant umbrella to shield us from the scorching heat wave that day. Safety and comfort is our top priorities as we enjoyed our beach adventure. Folks, I can see that the beach, beach, this beach is really clean. Actually, it's not populated, not much. I think not much people know about this. Uh, they don't have water supply here. So when you come here, you need to bring your uh, water with you and extra water for you to wash your, your, yourself, freshen up. And I think to maintain the cleanliness of this beach, we need to make sure that all the rubbish that we are bringing in we need to uh, dispose it properly. See, it seems like we are in a very pri uh, in a private island where we can see the beach itself. We can hear the waves. Yeah, so it's really interesting. The kids is loving it too. But now I'm carrying actually a big payung. See, look at this, a big umbrella because it's really hot. It's really hot. So I need to bring umbrella with me. So see, we come there. I show you there. We come there. See. Okay. Actually, we only come here for a day trip. Just a day trip. Okay. Really cool. It's really hot. I think the weather is cooperating well. As we continued our day trip camping adventure, 
I decided to let the kids play with the kite since the wind had picked up a bit. By the time a few more people had begun to arrive in the area, simply stopping by to enjoy a swim, as the waves were not too strong. It was a pleasant sight to see more families joining in a relaxed atmosphere of the beach. After lunch, we noticed the waves inching closer to our camp, prompting us to relocate our tent to a higher ground for our nap. Since it was a midday, I opened up the roof of our tent to let in the cool breeze as we were sheltered by the canopy of tree leaves. While we relaxed, the kids gleefully watched the waves drawing nearer with each passing moment. The kids had a blast playing at the beach area. However, for a day cheaper, especially at the beach, it's important to remember to accompany your children while they play at the seashore for safety measures. Anyway, right after the beach playtime, I let the kids take turns playing on a swing and they thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Anyway, since there wasn't any water available here, I made sure to bring along some extra water for us to freshen up and for me to bathe the kids before heading back. Despite its simplicity, this trip was truly remarkable. There you have it folks! These are our discoveries here at Tumala here in Sadili, Kutatinggi here in Johor. We enjoyed it. It was a wonderful day trip coming for everyone. And I hope guys, you can come over here, bring your family, have a day trip camping, go for relaxation and enjoy the day. All right, thank you so much guys for watching. This is Sunny from Junta Let's and I hope to see you guys in my next upcoming coverage. Thank you and bye!